What's up guys, my name is Joe and I've always been attracted to the underdog mentality. And that is, in this case, finding products that aren't super well known, they're not your name brand stuff out there, but they still get people asking, where did you get those? They, they look really cool. Like, I wanna know where you can find those because they're not your pieces that everyone knows and everyone has seen before. So today, I wanna show you guys five awesome sneaker brands that you've probably never heard of. And the price range on this list is from budget to premium. And of course, I'm gonna have everything linked down below. The first brand is one that I've brought up before here on the channel, and that is Arc Copenhagen. Being, you know, their shoes from, their the brand's called Arc and they're from Copenhagen. Taken. The shoes that Arc has to offer are on the more sporty side. Uh, these will appeal to people who are either into streetwear or active wear, but they're definitely lifestyle sneakers. They look kind of futuristic while still being wearable with an athletic attitude. And when you see the line all together, it's clear that they've done a great job at being cohesive with their brand identity. The two that I've got are the Octagos and the Brookton's, both of which work better with more sporty or street style wear, like I mentioned. Either way, it's a brand that definitely isn't for everyone. But for those of you who like experimentation, you like something a little bit different, you might wanna check them out. From there, we've got what is my personal favorite underdog sneaker company at this point in time, and that is filling pieces. Now, Arc, like I said, is pretty sporty, but my personal aesthetic is more in lines with like the classic or the casual stuff, you know, jeans, tees, jackets, uh, more classic looking sneakers, or should I say at least casual looking sneakers. So I like to look out for cleaner, you know, more classic looking sneakers, and filling pieces has done such an awesome job at taking the classic concept and making it their own. I mean, you can go as simple as their low plane model, which most closely resembles the classic white sneakers, so many of us know, um, but with a, a bit of a flair for sure. Or you can find something completely different in there as well. What Filling Pieces seems to specialize in is perfecting the subtle details and creating minor changes that somehow brings a whole refreshing take on what could have been considered just such a normal sneaker. The ones that I've got aren't actually available anymore, um, and you'll notice that they cycle through new designs pretty often, but I got this forest green and black sneaker on sale for Black Friday and I absolutely love these. They're classic enough to be worn with a ton of different looks but unique enough to get questions from people all the time wanting to know what they are. Filling pieces definitely are on the pricier side but from the quality to the designs to the unique factor in my opinion they're worth it. Alright so as for our most budget brand on the list we've got PF Flyers. Now yes PF Flyers are very similar to Converse so why not just put Converse on the list. I mean, besides the obvious, everyone knows what Converse is. This is a list of brands that are not as well known. PF Flyers was started in 1944 and kind of has gone up and down and up in terms of popularity, but it was really the movie The Sandlot that brought this, this brand into the mainstream. Shoes guaranteed to make a kid run faster and jump higher. PF Flyers. So why pick PF Flyers over Converse? Well, first, the underdog mentality, like I said, if that's something that you care about, but also they're priced the exact same as the classic Chuck Taylors at 60 bucks. And there's numerous reviews from people claiming that they're actually more comfortable, better built, and they last longer than their Chucks. This is not coming from personal experience. I haven't compared the two, but I've done a lot of research on my uh, journey into sneakers. And yeah, I've seen a lot of good stuff, a lot of, a lot of good words given to PF Flyers in terms of the quality compared to Chucks, especially since you're paying the same price. From there, we've got a brand that is known for tasteful, distressing, and unique details, and that is P448. Don't know why it's called P448. I can't remember the order of the numbers, but yeah, anyway, this is what it's called. I've got two pairs from P448, and my favorite thing about the sneakers is the hand-finished feel that these have. They feel very personal from the finishing details when you get them. I've got two pairs from P448, and my favorite thing about these sneakers is the hand-finished feel that these have. They feel very personal from the finishing details, um, you know, when you get them in hand. This low top with the red stripe gets compliments all the time. It's such a simple detail, but the color really makes them pop and can really complement an outfit when they're paired correctly. The high top I've got has a really unique finish that helps add texture to a simple outfit. What I like about the brand overall is the unique take they give to sneakers, really making them feel and look one of a kind while giving you top-notch quality as well. And for the price, you better hope they deliver with that quality and they do. Fourth up, we've got a brand that's been around for a while, um, and, but ever since the uptick in the dad trend, you know, with the whole dad trend shoe thing, 
Uh, these have been put in a little bit more of limelight and I think that they're well deserving and that's Kauru. Hope that I said that right. This brand is from Finland. So Kauru is a Finnish shoe brand that originally made sports only sneakers specifically designed for running. But since then they've come out with some great lifestyle sneakers as well that definitely take some notes from the 90s. In my opinion, their best lifestyle sneaker are the Fusion 2.0s. They came out in 2019. Uh, so they're, they're pretty recent and they're a solid, reliable, casual pair of kicks. They've got tons of color combinations to pick from as well. And as for me, I went for opal gray slash smoked pearl. Sounds like it's dinner time. And finally, this last sneaker company, I included these as an uh, alternative to that classic pair of sneakers that Stan Smith first made popular. And then you've seen the likes of Common Projects, Axel Arigato, Koyo, you know, that classic white sneaker silhouette. This is a bit of an, uh, an alternative and it's coming from Grand Voyage. I wanted to show you guys these because it's refreshing to see a slight design tweak to make this classic silhouette stand out a little. From the raised heel tab uh, at the back to the flaps that go over the top of the laces, they are subtle differences here that still helps to make the shoe stand out um, you know, in the sea of classic silhouettes. They've also got some casual Chelsea's that have some design quirks to update the classic look we all know about and have seen before. But basically, if you're looking for a clean sneaker that resembles that classic look, but adds a flair of its own, Grand Voyage, I think they are a fantastic alternative. And guys, that is what I've got for you, these uh, five sneaker brands that I'm guessing most of you have never heard of. Let me know which ones you like, which ones you don't like, what you think, what you're rocking on your feet right now. Hit the thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see everybody next time.